We like to dub it the Cheers of Oakdale. If the iconic bar in the 80s sitcom is the place where everybody knows your name. These are the Baumans. They've been, they've been coming in for a hundred years also. <laughs> Cliff and Norm would feel right at home at Sergeant Pepper's in Oakdale. These are the Toms. Now they've been coming in for 150 years. Co-owner Julie Kinski seems to know the name of every customer and how they've helped during the pandemic. Dale and Deb, they were here every single day for when we were closed. And they'd had a picnic in their car. They brought their own plates and their own silverware, ketchup, ate in the parking lot every day. Like many restaurants, COVID has hit her business hard. Many of her nights passing without sleep, wondering if they could survive. We didn't know. You know, we didn't even know if we'd reopen. We didn't know how long it would last. I mean, at first it didn't sound like it was going to be that long. And then a month went by, then two months went by, and now we're at three months. And then finally we got to open a little bit, and then we get to open a little bit more. But it's just been crazy. An advantage of Sgt. Pepper's is their space. In addition to their patio, that was 10 extra tables. They have three dining rooms, but even still, business is operating at 60% and her longtime staff, which she considers family, Dean's our right hand man. Hey guys. Has gone from 50 to 33 employees. Kinski filling in wherever help is needed. And when she needed help most, her customers were there to keep them afloat. What he's trying to say is jewelry keeps oh, us coming yeah. down. Yeah, I already it's said that. Contract. <laughs> <laughs> Through it all, she's managed to stay positive mostly, human kindness giving her hope, and perspective allowing her to find humor where she can. Don't take things for granted, because you never know what you're gonna get. Wash your hands. <laughs>